Okay, I thought we'd take a look at Sunracer for the Apple II. A game about the solar car challenge that started in the 70s. And General Motors won it with their Sunracer racing car. So press any key to, be to begin. Your challenge is to take the controls of the Sunracer and qualify for the pole position in the race. The qualifying course is 100 kilometres of hills and desert in the Australian outback, which is where the first race took, back, took place. Rain is expected today, so watch out for flash floods. Oh dear. The objective is to finish the course at the maximum average speed possible. One car has already qualified with an average speed at 66 kilometres an hour. So we want to try and beat an average speed of 66 kilometres an hour. You must radio your... You may radio your spotting helicopter during the race to find out about the road conditions ahead and the proper operating choices by pressing the R key. Press the key to go on. You should control the sun race's speed to use energy efficiently and achieve the fastest average speed by pressing the arrow keys. Okay, so now the race is getting ready to start and you basically press any key to start. Okay, and we've got speed here and distance travelled and the race time in hours and average speed. That's our average speed there and we want to be able to finish above 66 kilometres an hour is the average speed we want to get. That's our battery charge, 99%. The solar panel output, the, the, the amount of solar energy going to the batteries and the amount of solar, uh, energy going to the motor. Okay, And when the solar panel is not enough, if you want too much power for the motor, then you're drawing it out of the batteries as well, so your battery will lose charge. Okay, So we can press R and or also with the arrow keys. It's very simple controls. Basically use the arrow keys to control your speed and press the R key every now and again to check the, the weather and road conditions up ahead. Okay, and you can slow down if there's, if there's storms ahead, you can slow down and do strategic things like that. So let's have a go. I've, I've, I've pressed the key, so let's get started. I'm increasing, I'm pressing the right arrow key to increase my average speed. Everything's good. We're on nice flat ground at the moment. We're getting ready to go up a hill and then we'll be going down the hill and then we'll be going up a hill again. So I'm going to increase my average speed, 75. The battery's at 98% charge. I'm getting 782 watts from the solar panels and 534 from the battery. And 1402 is going to the to the to the motor. Okay, so I'm I'm slowly draining the batteries. But that's okay. We're on a nice flat stretch of road, and we've got sunny weather. So um, battery's still at 96 percent. 78 kilometres an hour is the average or the the speed, and we've got an average speed of 75. We've travelled nine kilometres so far. Might as well press R and see what's going on ahead. Everything looks fine ahead. Uh, it's a fine day for a race. Yep, good. Not much to do, is there? <laughs> okay, we're coming to the base of the hill, and we'll see that we we start climbing, and our the motor the, the power we send to the motor is going to have to increase a lot to maintain our speed. So we will have to slow down very soon, otherwise we'll drain our batteries really quick. Okay, so now we're going up the, going up the hill, and look at watch our motor. Our motor energy will climb, and uh, we'll, 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 we'll um, drain our batteries real quick now. Four four nine six four to the to the motor now. Four nine six four watts. So we're draining our batteries very quick. We're only getting a thousand from the solar panels. So I need to slow down here. So left arrow key, and I want to slow down. Probably do about sixty five. And also we're putting out too much to the to the motor. We might burn the motor out. There's a warning there. So I'm slowed down to sixty five now. Let's see how that looks. So we're still draining our batteries fairly fairly fast. We're still putting out 4,000 watts to the motor. Uh, we're almost at the top of the hill. Little, that little marker there is almost at the top of the hill. 70% charge, that's not too bad. We're coming up to a, a long downhill section here and we're going to really ramp our speed up here and try and uh, increase our average because we've got a huge hill coming up at the end there and there's always storms there, clouds and storms. So, Okay, so we're getting ready to increase our speed. The, the, the power to the motor will... Yep knocked off really quick and our panels are now charging our batteries and also sending power to the motor so we can speed up now and I'm going to go to 75 maybe things look pretty good so we're still putting out power to the batteries and also putting power to the motor so we, we're charging the batteries as well which is good okay, we're getting ready for this big hill here basically this big beast I'll press R and see what's going on 
a good place to improve your average speed. I recommend 80, so we'll go a bit faster. Let's go 80 then. 81, yeah, it doesn't matter. We're still charging our batteries pretty well. Uh, yep, nice sunny day. Got the clouds coming up ahead. So with the clouds coming up that you can see here, and we've got this monster hill that we're going to climb. Okay. And our, our first race is only 100 kilometers, so it's pretty easy to qualify for this one. Okay, so we're still going fairly well. Uh, average speed 74, which is above the 66. We're almost at the halfway point, 50 kilometers. There we go, halfway point. We're still got the speed of 81. We're still plenty, sending plenty of power to the battery. Oh, it's get, becoming cloudy, so I want to slow down. We've got cloudy weather ahead and the power to the battery. We're now getting 28 watts from the battery, 175.2. So we're doing the best speed we can, but keeping plenty in reserve for this part. Okay, and uh, pretty soon we're going to be going up that steep hill. Let's do an R and get the get the report from the helicopter. It's so cloudy here I can't see anything. Good luck. So we're coming up to a really cloudy bit. So I might even slow down a little bit more and try and get some more power to the battery before we hit that bottom of that hill and start climbing. So it's now very cloudy. Okay, slow down a little bit more. Try and get some more power to the battery for the big climb. We've still got a good average speed. We're doing okay. So we're still getting, we're getting power from the battery now. We're getting 151 watts from the battery. Even though I'm slowing right down because it's getting cloudier and cloudier. Our solar panels are hardly doing, hardly doing anything now. So this climb's going to be all in our all in our battery, which is going to kill us. I might even slow down a bit further. Now we're going up the steep hill, very steep hill, and it's cloudy. So we're getting nothing from the battery, nothing from the solar panels. 200 watts is nothing. And we're seeing 213 to the to the motors, and we and we're getting 4899 from the from the battery, which is really going to drain it quickly. Okay, to maintain to maintain 60 kilometers now, we're really drawing heavily on the battery, so we might even slow down a little bit more. 58. We're about the halfway point up the hill. Still very cloudy. Let's do a radio with our helicopter. It's so cloudy here, I can't see anything. Good luck. Okay, battery's at 44%, speed at 58, average speed 71. We're still getting 4,400 watts in the battery, which is draining them quickly, down to 34%. Almost at the top of the hill. Hopefully the weather will fine up and our solar panels will start doing a bit more. Okay, 58. Average speed's still 71, so we're doing okay. Okay, batteries at 21%, 19, 8, 16, almost at the top of the hill. Let's do a weather report with our helicopter again. You have clear weather and level ground to finish line. Okay, so hopefully the clouds will disappear soon. And we're on level ground now. 7%, 4% battery. Oh, we just made it. 2% battery charge. Okay, so now as long as we get something, keep something in our battery, 2% charge is fine. I want to increase our speed. I don't want anything go to go to the battery. I want to drain the batteries and cross the finish line with with nothing in the batteries, basically. So I want to speed up to the maximum speed and uh, 74, 73. We're still sending 11 watts of the power. We're getting two, 205 watts from the battery now. Okay, 209 watts in the battery. 2% charge left. We can drain the batteries now. We've got sunny weather ahead. And uh, so it doesn't matter, the battery's on zero. Let's just crank it up now. 74, 2% charge in a battery. Let's drain them right down. Almost at the finish line. Lovely sunny weather. We'll do another radio report. You have clear weather, ground, great, okay. Battery 1% charge. And we're just gonna, so pretty soon we'll just be coasting along now solar panels output only so we'll be slowing down further again we're at the finish line we made it with an average speed of 69. press the key to review the results okay and congratulations to you and your team your average speed was 69. your superior driving skill has earned you the right to start first in the solar challenge race beautiful press the key to end this section 
Okay. Okay, so um, that was the basic race for Sun Racer. Uh, a nice little solar car challenge happened in the 70s, and they're still racing it every year. Um, different countries, I think, as well. So it's sometimes through Australia, sometimes other places. And that was some software for the Apple II that came out in the, uh, I think it was in the late 70s. So I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.